I'm sorry, Blue, you what? <laughs> Hello, hi. I'm just now, like, finally sitting at my desk. I hit, like, start stream, and now I'm like, uh, You got stuck in traffic on your way home because an RV had caught fire? It was very crispy? Like, chicken crispy? Blue, what are you doing? Drink some water, babe. Go get a, go get a throat lozenge, please. Please. <laughs> Monkey, it was gross skeleton left. Oh, like, like, on fire, on fire. Oh, God. I'm, are you, you're okay, though, right? Right? I'm also, like, I've, I'm just waiting for this game to finish downloading. We're just vibing. Oh, just kidding. I think this game has finished down. <laughs> I think this game has finished downloading. Okay, give me a second. Ooh. Two lanes of the interstate shut down? God damn, girl. God damn. I can't even imagine. This is why driving scares me, Blue. Like, I don't drive. I have car anxiety. I don't care. Bah. What are you, what are you, what are you, a sheep blue? Or are you doing a bah humbug to me, little lady? What's happening? Burglar. Blue, I want burger. Give burger, please. I think the eighteen wheelers are nocturnal. Though they kind of have to be, don't they? Right? Right? <laughs> At least that's my thinking. Excuse me while I like move my laptop over into a different spart 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 <laughs> different spot on my desk. Oh god, someone help me, please! Someone help me! Okay, I'll put that right there. Okay. 
Oh, I just realized this is Animal Crossing. I was like, why does this sound familiar? Oh, hey, look, it's Corpse. What is this playlist? It just says it's DMC free. Oh, that's right, Corpse. I forget his music is DMC free. Because he's, he's a swell guy. <laughs> Blue. <laughs> As soon as she mentions corpse. Oh, whoa. <laughs> <Ooh, ooh. laughs> Alright, I'll let this song play while I finish setting up. Hello, Ivy. Welcome to stream. Okay. Alright. Um. I'm gonna have to s pause Spoofy. Sorry, Blue. Alright, let me pause Spotify. Hi. And let me play. Backbone. Let me transition. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and the song was almost over. Blue shush. <laughs> We're playing Backbone, everybody. This game just came out, and I'm really, really excited for it because I've been looking forward to this game for like ever. Egg nut. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I need to like full screen this. Hang on. How do I, can I, hey, uh, let me full screen. Press any key. Oh no. Let's play. No one saw that. Oh God. Okay, hang on. Ah, uh, just kidding. We're having technical difficulties. <laughs> We're having technical difficulties. <laughs> okay, just kidding. Stream's back. <laughs> Bruh, I just want to be Cork's friend. We'll talk. I know, same, same, same. Um, what is Backbone? Backbone is about your, your, I, all I know, because I wanted to go into this super blind, is that you are a raccoon detective. And everything's all pixely. And I'm really excited for it. Okay, so we are windowed. Yes, it's fine. Oh, let's put it on 60. Hi, 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 hi. Uh, audio. Uh, wait. No. Apply. Yes. And then make this. Come on, work with me here. Okay, audio. Um, how's audio? How are we feeling? Does it need to get lowered? Does am I? Do I sound okay? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Da -ba 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 -ba. Me testing out like talking and stuff. Sounds Gucci, you sound beautiful streamer. Oh my god. Okay. Let's go back. Controls. Okay. A left. Run. Shift. Oh, you can play with the controller? <gasps> Let's play with the controller. Okay, hang on. Let me, I didn't realize you could play with the controller. Let me plug my controller in real quick. Two seconds. <sighs> Um, look at that! What happens to the music? Oh, okay, I guess it just restarted. Okay, let's get this game started, folks. Are we ready? I'm nervous. I'm actually really nervous. <gasps> oh! 
Act 1, Prologue. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for playing this game. Ah. Raccoon! <laughs> it's so cute. Look at him. Hello? Hello? Sorry, Mr. Call. Yeah, no problem. 27 on the buzzer. Oh, I don't want to cut the cutscene. Cut the cutscene? Skip the cutscene. Just enough time to clean up. Drag and drop items. A to read the, read the description. Okay. So we've got West End Village, Grand Valley, Valet Town. Wait, oh, that's where stuff gets made. Doing work with your hands. Not a bad life, really. My diploma project places of absolute solitude. Only action my camera sees is days of snapping fools leaving places they shouldn't be in. Ah, uh, Pianetti, you beautiful dangerous renegade you. Maybe one day you'll settle down and call me again. Wow. <laughs> Mama Helen Loader taught me everything I know, and I spent years trying to unlearn half of it. Oh, man. Home to the high and mighty scrapers. Skyscrapers full of apes, big shots, and gated communities. They can keep it. Good place with nice expensive date. Uh, museums, fancy music halls. I've not been for a long time. Oh, I see. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, okay, okay. So there's green, greenery where most of our food is grown. Wide open spaces in the city. More restriction on public visits every year. Uh, that's where the good stuff gets made. Doing honest work with your hands. Not a bad life, really. Can we go to the West End? Oh, it's so sensitive. It's so sensitive. Please, 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 please. Ah, game! Ah, oh, fuck it. <laughs> Let's go to the living room. Media set. Gotta hit up Frankie to figure it when it has to ask, so never. Notes on fridge. Call mom, buy soap, pay bills, don't die. Ah, oh, fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Call mom, buy soap, pay bills, don't die. I love it. Leaving photo developer in the kitchen is sure a way to... Is a sure road to poisoning or great soup? Hard to get tired of this view. Is it toilet? Toilet books. The Great Apes, The Great Story, Sweet Toilet, Swell Toilet, right? Read? Red? <laughs> Everybody in this gate, in this, in this universe is an animal, if that wasn't clear. Everybody's been calling this like the furry detective game and I don't care. Place cancels. Everything knows its proper place. <laughs> Case files, insurance fraud, stolen cars, estranged, ex, ex, estranged lovers. There we go. Should probably bin some of these cold case files. I feel like if I cheat. Okay, no one's idea of paradise mainly factories of current tenant blocks full of neglected souls. I'm also super fine using my mouse on certain things. Lower middle class bill. It's not gas town, but it's respectable enough. I grew up here on the border of with the West End. Okay, we read Valley Town. What's top? Home to the high and mighty skyscraper. Okay, we read that one. <laughs> Granville, where the night comes to life. It's got rough edges, but it feels like home. There's the docks where all the fishing boats hang out. Plenty of warehouses and seriously sketchy dive bars, too. Nice, nice, nice. Ah, uh, gas town. That's a dream. Well, if you're a bourgeoisie snob, dreams of overpriced salad. I want overpriced salad. Is that everything? That looks like it's everything. Okay. We can get out of here. Inspect desk. Oh, uh, X to pick up. What is this? Dangly feet? Anything else? No. Right, so we need to put this in the kitchen and like the uh where's the where would i put this where would i put where would i put this i don't know where to the dangly feet john d insurance fraud mm, cheerios does that look like cheer oh Okay, I didn't mean to do that. There we go, place dishes. I'll wash these later, probably not. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, that must be Miss Green. That actually really scared me. Because <laughs> that sounded like it was behind me. Yeah, no, the pixel art is really great. It's Oh, I'm so excited. I I excuse me. I'm looking for Detective Loader. We spoke on the phone? I gave you a case. I, ha I gather you have a case at your service. That's me. Um, at your service. Oh, um, truth be told, my back's killing me. Pregnancy puts pressure on the spine. And please, Odette is fine. Oh, she's pregnant. First kid? Third, actually. Huh, must be a handful. They can I'm getting distracted. I love talking in this. Oh, I'm so, I'm sorry. I'm so excited. I want to, like, explore everything. Yee! <laughs> they can be, but the silver lining every day. I bet they're adorable. You tired a lot? I would know. So what can you do? What can I do for you? I understand this sort of thing is routine in your line of work. It's about my husband, you see. I'm listening. He hasn't been himself lately. Getting home at odd hours, making weird excuses. Tried to talk to him? Yes, yeah, so he gets difficult. Like it's my fault. Listen, I just need to know if you can get proof of his infidelity. I need it for the court. <gasps> court? You're filing for divorce? That's right. And above all, I need something damning enough that custody won't even be a question. Your husband will want the kids? I, I can't take any chances anymore. Hmm. When do Ooh. Hmm. But has he said or done anything to make you think he would? When did you realize he might be unfaithful? And I'm taking the case. Let's talk final details. What do you think, chat? Blue Ivy, if you two are still there, what do you think? When did you realize he might be unfaithful might be good? I want to, like, immediately take it, because it's like, lady, is she thinking with pregnant brain? I don't know. Pregnant brain makes you go all wacky weird. You know what I mean? <laughs> I hear my name. What should I choose, Ivy? I don't know what to choose. One, two, or three. Hmm. Hmm. Two, I trust Blue. Okay. Sorbery's bro was here and talking. Oh, no, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine, Ivy. Yeah, he's always a private kind of man. Now he started getting home late, missing work, and smelling funny. Like, perfume? Hold up, has he been aggressive? What kind of smell? He's skipping work, and you caught him lying? How late are we talking? Hmm... Tell him to can it. <laughs> um, let's ask first, like, what kind of smell? Like, perfume. Ooh. Not my alcohol smoke and something poignant. Like, a kind of herbal stink. Hold up. Has he been aggressive? He's skipping work. And you caught him. Uh, so let's see. He's skipping work. Well, he left, so he could so, oh, dang. Well, I hope he had a good time. I had calls from his boss, wondering if he was sick. I even covered for him. I'm so fed up with this. Ooh, how late are we talking? Way past the kid's dinner time. I asked what he was doing. It didn't go well. Hold up, has he been aggressive? I can't see how this is printed. I mean... It's true. Personal details can make a breaker case. I would love... I, I know better what's... Uh, I would love to know he's dangerous. He has a mean temper, unpredictable. Has he threatened to take the kids? He has threatened to take them, yes. Daisy and Elliot shouldn't have to go through all this. And I'm doing what it takes to protect their future. Odette, this is not your fault. I know, you're right. Thank you for sharing it. I know this can't be easy. Yes, I'm finally being brave for them at least. Okay, what do, what do you need to know? Uh, what does he look like? Here's a photo. He's an otter, of course. <laughs> he wears glasses, square ones, he has a, and his wedding band, as far as I know. And he carries a black beef briefcase to and from work. 
Okay, everybody remember these details. I feel like these are going to be very, very important details, okay? Uh, where would I find him usually? Usually at work or at home. He never used to stop anywhere. Now it's all the time. Um, uh, where does he work? At Wolf Bank on Granville. I'll write the address for you. Cool, cool, cool. Um, hang on real quick. I'm, uh, 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 I can't, I can't tab over. Why can't I tab over? If I tab over, will this fuck it up? If I tab, oh, uh, okay, if I click, does that fuck it up? No, haha. -ha. I have done it, folks. I'm a smart noodle. Look at how smart I am. Why am I so smart? Oh, ho, ho, a hee hee, a hoo hoo. <laughs> Sorry. Um, because I realized I didn't like post my link anywhere. Uh, let's see. Do do do. Bot chat. Backbone. How's everybody doing also? I never asked. How's everybody? How's everybody doing? How's everybody feeling? I hope you're all doing a great time. Having a great time. Hee hee hoo hoo ha ha. Um yeah. Yeah. Okay. Never mind, he left his charger, folks. Oh. All right, now that I have, I have you, Nada. Oh, I'm sorry, Junior. Did I wake you up? Junior's fast asleep on my bed, but he's like curled up with a, a heating pad at the moment. <laughs> okay. Um. Have you met any of his friends? No, but he's mentioned a few guys. Says they get together after work sometimes. How would I pick him out of a crowd? suit i picked out his green tie and hat for him today green tie square glasses black briefcase someone write that down for me please i got three hours of sleep last night my nose has been dripping all day hey blue can you not and go to like you know take care of yourself please jeremy green i think people at work call him jez okay i can give you a hundred now and 50 when you bring me the photos will that suffice yes plus any unexpected expenses Please be careful. Nobody can know we spoke. If this gets out, I'm as good as dead. Uh, call you later tonight. All right, we are gonna. We've got our detective work to go. I just want to check everything real quick before I. Okay. No chance, Blue. Please, I will yell. You know I will. Don't make me yell, Blue. Time to go to Granville. Finally playing this game. <laughs> Look at it. Look at this art. Look at his tail. <gasps> oh. Backbone. Oh, I love this art style. It makes me so happy. Oh, Granville. Fuck you. Alright, so here's Donovan's. Smells like wet concrete, overpriced fast food, and puke. My kind of battleground. There's a squirrel here. Yo, old man. Take a look at this photo. Uh, well, how's your day so far? Just hanging. What's up with you? Tracking someone for a case. So now we're talking with the guy, do. Murder? Arson? Uh, nothing bad. You don't phase me, bro. Fuck. I'm bad at being a detective, you guys. Oh, hold R. Why do I need to run? Oh, I don't like it when they tell me to run, dude. <laughs> oh, shit. It's backbone. Yeah, it's backbone. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> it's just Detroit or Third Ave. Oh, no. 
Hey, if it isn't Mr. Yeah, uh, Backbone is on Game Pass. If you pay for Game Pass, it's there. And I was just like, oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> um, hey, if it isn't Mr. Howie, what's a rascal like you on a fine evening like this? Uh, let's see. My beaver! How are Estrella and the kids? You gotta, you know, you gotta keep your connections good. I see an iron gate. Ian, we even, bless the shepherd, got a second lad due soon. Oh, I got a great story for you. Another, wow, you guys are lucky. Thanks, he's a big one too. As he is round as a watermelon. Anyway, the story, I tell her, ha, woman, you get any bigger and I won't fit you in the trunk of the car. Ha, huh? it's, it's great. Can you answer some questions? Oh, I'm looking for a guy. I don't know how I see so many faces. I know these scrawny sorts like flashing their cash at the bite though. Have you seen him there? Uh, sure. You're scaring off my clients. All right, thanks. Okay, so the bite. Okay. Detroit become raccoon. <laughs> I know, I saw Blue. I saw you got uh, Ori in the Blind Forest. Are you going to play it on stream anytime soon? They did a good job restoring the Rouge. Is it the Rouge or the Rogue? If people watch more movies, maybe it wouldn't have been so sad. Canines, cocktails, and a movie. Sounds like a great plan for the weekend, actually. Poster. Eden Simmons and the hottest new jazz star. See her tonight only at the bite. Wolf Bank. Is this where Green works? Oh. Banker. Uh, you folks work at the. Too fishy. Too much fishy lately, I think. Either tomorrow or Saturday. Ah, I get that. As you guys have seen, like, I've jumped. I've jumped everywhere when it comes to streaming. It's fine. Uh. Yeah, why? Is Jez around? And who are you? Um. Asshole owes me money. You and me both, pal. And Derek, good luck getting it back anytime soon. Uh. How he'll pay if I can find it. So he owes people money. Keep that in mind, you guys. He owes people money. Uh. Let's see, course, but the wimp ass left work early. He's scared Derek's gonna split his wig. Um, something happened at work? Her just contract is not getting renewed. Bastard had it coming. Ooh. Where do you think he's headed? What say you boys? Home to his nagging bitch of a wife? To the gutter where he belongs? Only apes knows. Ooh, Jesus. <laughs> he owes nobody money, got it. <laughs> Rouge and Rogue? Uh, you know what? You right. It's smooth brain. Don't at me like this. Did you boys spend time with him outside of work? Yeah, we used to have a blast at the bite every Thursday until he turned into a needy leech. The bite? Could he be there now? How the fuck would I know? Now skedaddle, Rack. I'll do just that. Alright. <laughs> what is this? Fish? Grilled fish, shrooms, and veggies. Ooh. Here's the bite. I definitely wouldn't fit in with that crowd. Wouldn't want to. Oh, the, the, all of these characters look so cute. Oh, hey, is it Hank the Bear? Oh my god. No entrance for raccoons. What? I'm sure we can arrange something, big boy. What do you need? Give me a personal invitation signed by the great apes and I'll let you in. Deal? Uh, sure, bye. <laughs> Guess we'll just go in the back. Yeah. Larry? Larry, another raccoon. Howard? Well, I'll be damned. It's been a while. Wow. Larry? One and only. It's been too long. What's going on, old man? Wait, what? Uh, that sounds so good. Oh, yeah. The species. And that is species. Get the heck out of here, raccoons. Damn! What'd I do? I'm just a raccoon detective. Let me ride. Uh, what's going on? Ha, uh, who are you calling old? Same old, can't complain. Uh, I'm happy for you. My own gig went downhill a while back. Didn't expect you to see you here. Who could expect anyone of note in the back alley? What's going on? What are you up to? Wait, do you live here? Live? Have you seen how tough the crowd here is? No, I live at the bridge. It's really not so bad as it sounds. I'm so sorry, Larry. You can't help. No, not really. Thank you, though. Now, what's your deal? Have you seen an otter guy around here recently? What did he do? 
Nothing much. Nothing serious. Just messed up his marriage. Eh, like they do. What's he like? Um. Here's a photo. Haven't seen him. Sorry. Let me know if you need anything. I'm I'm here often and hear people talk. Uh, I got a lead, but the bouncer won't let me in. Tough break. It's more of a cat and dog crowd. Haha, <laughs> get it? It's more of a cat and dog crowd, and it actually is just cats and dogs. <laughs> oh, I love this game so much. I love this game so much. Oh, you said your guy's an otter? That's weird. Uh, where could I get a good size? Maybe if I was a handsome cat? Any ideas how I could get in? Ask Johnny. Who's Johnny? Squirrel kid with a leather jacket. We just saw him. He's a pusher. I don't actually know what his deal at the bite is, but they're chummy. Um, why would he help? Might take some convincing, but he's chill. I've seen him help people cut the line. His clients, I think. Ooh, what sort of stuff Johnny sells? Your typical, like, hype and shatter fang? Are those drugs? Oh, get this. He started rolling out something called monkey butt comes up with these names it's not like they don't they don't want you to know you do drugs <laughs> oh man that's like that uh comedy special where he's all like nah this weed is named deaf deaf as if you can't hear for the next four hours it's like what <laughs> anyway um sorry sorry uh what do you know about the bite owners of bloodworth so lots of rumors floating around about the whole ordeal Um, Bloodworth, the bear family? Oh, it makes sense why the bear's the bouncer. Hello, beautiful! Welcome! We're playing Backbone, and I'm so excited! <laughs> Crime family, last year, her uh, head of the family up and died, and shit hit the fan. Hair ended up in prison. And the current owner is a relative? Yeah, she's the illegitimate daughter of something. Whoa, what are the rumors? All kinds of bullshit she got an ape for a lover. Or that she was one that who got all the others killed so she could take over. And then let's talk about monkey butt. Stanky thing. Does it have a kind of herbal stink? Not for no first hand experience. But I guess that ooh. Okay, so if monkey butt has an herbal smell to it, and that's what the wife said her husband was smelling like. Hmm. A welcome distraction, really. See you soon. Sure, Larry. Thanks, I'll see you. Huh. There's an intercom. Don't shame my flyers? Yes, yes, no, no, safety, ha, ha. Oh, that rat's just throwing up. That's fine. That's a horse. This one. Otter's doing drugs is just super what the otter is doing drugs. Yeah, this game, it like uh just recently came out and it's available. Oh, okay. It's available um on Game Pass. Oh, Downey's on a duty in the booth. Oh. Look at that. Alright, so then we'll just go past him. Cause we know we have to go over here. Uh, there he is. Squirrel. Are you Johnny? Um, I'm a Howard. His name is Wallace. Ooh, fake name or real name, you guys? What do you think? Guilty Gear is out? Ooh. Ah, man, I haven't played, like, a Guilty Gear game in so long, dude. If fake, then make sure to remember what you pick. Ooh. Alright. We'll, we'll stick with Wallace. What do you want, Waldo? <laughs> um, I need to get into the bite. What about you do, pal? Why do you care? Um, listen, I heard it's a place to go for the good shit. Oh, you mean like that new school jazz or the great upholstery? 
uh, cut the crap. I think I know they deal monkey butt in there. Say what now? What idiot told you that? Well, you know how it is. Word gets around. Don't have it. You're out of luck, old fart. Just help me deal with the big dude out front. What's in it for Johnny? Uh, Johnny gets to not be introduced to the cops. I'll take you into an alley and fuck you up if you're not careful. <laughs> See that police dog down the street? I got nothing on me. I was just playing. What are you going to do, bitch? <laughs> You're about to deal. I have proof. Don't try it to up me, baby face. What's that in your pocket then? Are you just happy to see me? <laughs> are you on something right now? I could be if you play your cards right. The fuck are you suggesting? <laughs> Look into my eyes. Listen, I don't know where this conversation is going. <laughs> I don't. I love your jacket, by the way. Help me. I'm warning you. This is your last chance. I don't want to blow it. Or else what? Also teach you not to funk f fuck with me. It's a bit late for that, isn't it? Ha ha ha! Get me into the bite, Johnny. You know what? Fine. I don't even care. Let's go. I'll talk to Hank. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what that entire conversation is, but thank you, Larry. Larry the squirrel. We appreciate you, Larry. So talk to the bouncer. What are you waiting for? What do you want? Here's Johnny. Hey, Johnny. Oh, you brought my favorite customer. Stripper. Striper. You can come in. Don't cause any trouble. Thanks. All right. We are now in the club. Today's your brother's birthday. <gasps> happy, be happy birthday, beautiful ginger. Blah, blah, blah. Tell him happy birthday for us. I hope it's a good one. Honestly. Eat some cake. Enjoy some ice cream. Laugh. Throw, throw your feet up and, and just have a good time. Jazz alcohol, beautiful canine ladies. All a little too high end for my taste. Oh my god, Renee! <laughs> Renee, when were you in this game? <laughs> well, you're unusual. I'll take that as a compliment. As you will, though, it's just an observation. Renee Wilson. Wallace, pleased to meet you. That's a thank name. You're too young for a Wallace. Uh. Well, I'm Wallace tonight. Delightful. Do I detect sarcasm? Not at all. I'm truly delighted. My night just got a lot more interesting. I hope you'll tell me about yours once it's over. Take my card. Investigative journalist? It's a living. Usually. Have you seen any otter gentlemen here tonight? Shiva said laugh, and I can only think of the tightest laugh. Ha 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 ha! <laughs> I love her. Look at her. Not not the dog dancing, but the cat singing. Oh my god, I love her. Okay. Colby. Hey there, are you from Eden's? You're for Eden Simmons' show too? I'm so happy to see her live, finally. Um... I haven't heard of her before. It has a nice sound, though. Well, I'm probably a bit biased, but yeah, she's great. Does she play here often? From time to time, I like the place. It's very classy, and the food is great. You have good taste in music. How? You can only be sure if you stay for the whole show. Um, Let's see. Wish I could say, have you seen an otter gentleman tonight? Here's his photo. Ooh, I think I saw someone like that walk in. Um, was his hat green? Oh, yes. So And so was his tie. Yes. Okay. Did he have a brief? Okay. Did you see where he went? He talked to the lady in the jade colored dress and then went upstairs. All right. She just keeps fucking dancing. Let's talk to her. Isn't this too dreamy? Well, you sure are. God, I love this music. Want to dance with me? Hmm? Sorry, no. Can you at least answer some questions? No, not really. Leave me alone. Uh, sorry. Bye, lady. Oh. Oh, my. Hello, Miss Lady. Her name is Ingrid. Oh, my God. I love all of the character design in this game. She's vibing blue. No, the zebra bitch and lone digger. <laughs> oh, you... <laughs> 
That's a good music video. <laughs> I love that music video, though, Blue. And she just keeps dancing. <laughs> okay, let's see. Evening, sugar. Enjoying yourself? In here? How could I not be? Not yet. My friend's late. I'm worried about him. How touching, they irregular? Jeremy, he, he, he's usually here like clockwork. Maybe I've seen him, what he's like. Green tie, green hat, glasses. Sounds more like you're describing a wanted man. Why are you looking for him? For drinks. You could say, you could try asking the bartender or Miss Bloodworth. Buy you a drink while I'm at it? If you insist, what's your poison? Surprise me, I'll try. Okay. What should we buy, Ingrid? Wonderland is a good one. Oh, it's a fucking bop, though. And so is Miracle. Yep, 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 yep. I agree. Listen to the music. Oh! Oh, it's like it gets all dramatic. Look at this! Her mouth is moving and I didn't hear it. Whoa. This is very dramatic. She's not singing, though. This is awkward. There's no music happening. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> this Clarissa? You look a little lost. I'm exactly where I need to be. How confident. I don't recognize you. I'm not a troublemaker, are we? This big boba. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's just the first thing I noticed. She got big boba. Uh. Uh, do I look like a troublemaker to you? There's an old saying about books and their covers, but you know better than me. Uh, well, my cover today is a wrench coat. Is a wrench coat. Is a raccoon in a trench coat. Someone help me. How should I address you, Mr. Raccoon? Um, I'm Wallace. What do you do for a living, Wallace? Um, I'm a photographer. Private stuff mostly, because that's technically not wrong. I appreciate creative types. I'm Clarissa Bloodworth, and I own the bite. Oh, that's what I thought. Thanks, I do strive to offer a sophisticated experience here. Say what you, uh, and you excel at it, say what would you say really stands out here. Folks say that our chef special is to die for, but I pride myself on everything being equally special. So what brought you here tonight? I'm looking for an otter gentleman. Well, I'm here to meet a friend. Sure is always uh, talking the place up. What's his name? Uh, Jeremy. Uh, yeah, we got a lot of catching up to do. Darling, I think you're lying to me. Uh, we're co-workers and we agreed to meet here. Mr. Wallace, if that's your real name, playing coy clearly doesn't suit you. Oh, okay. I understand. Uh, let me stay. I'm not going to cause trouble. Oh, I must insist. Or sh oh, okay. Uh, uh, okay. So, uh, we just got kicked out. We just... We just got... Fuck! <laughs> we just... We super blew that! <laughs> What's the intercom? Oh. Florence, what are you looking at? Are you alright? I'm fine. What's the tea anyway? Florence, right? Read it on the tag. Piss off, I told you. I'm not leaving till I get her back. Get who back? Who are you looking for? Or you don't know. Not fooling me. No, sir. I'm on to you. And I'm not moving from the spot until you let me talk to the daughter. I think you've got me confused. You're not one of them thugs? I mean, you no know, harm. You look like you could use some help. Well, she's. I'm a private detective. Maybe we can help each other out how I need to find my way into that building maybe I mean not really tried the code at the door but the filthy slips won't let me in I just want to talk to her wait what code I memorized it great fire damn me I looked at the wrong schedule let me in what's she doing in there kids decide she's gonna make it all on her own lays her lands herself in a whore <laughs> time to restart no blue we're not restarting <laughs> oh they're drugging her I know it they won't let her see her own mother, my poor baby. I'll keep an eye out for her. Gray fur, her name is Rosie. Rose. 
Drives her nuts when I call her Rosie. Just turned 20. They heard a single whisker on my baby's face. I swear I'm going to burn this hive to the ground. How are you so sure she's here? She's my baby. I know where she is. I can sense it. <gasps> Excuse me. When did you last see her? Three, two weeks ago. We had a fight. So she's been losing the bite before? Told me she was waitressing, but when I asked around, this hole serves drugs and sleaze. So you thought about her job at the bite? What about it? I'll do my best to find her. Uh, do you know of another way in? Voices on the roof. If you find my daughter, please tell her I need to see her. So... The interior, I just broke in. Uh, there's a weird looking recorder vice. Open the compartment. Find a couple of newspapers and documents. Go through, uh, go look at the, okay. They mention a company called Starling Cider Limited purchasing unnamed goods from Bites. There's a little recent purchase. Look at the newspaper, September, October, read the headlines. Academic continues. Geese may be spreading disease. Vicious wall attack leaves three defenders wounded, one dead. All right, let's look at the. Let's try to use the device. Um, it's a voice recorder hardwired into a truck dashboard, probably set for surveillance. You might be able to print out the recordings if you enter the correct dates. Uh, select dates from invoices and newspapers. Got three packages for you, geese. Damn you, I can't fit that many. We expected you two hours ago. Continue being an ass, and I'll leave. Oh, lurk! Okay, thank you, Ivy, for the lurk. I greatly appreciate it. We have five packages ready for pickup. That is all I can fit in the trunk. You're four hours late. Leave me alone. Uh, okay, let's leave. Is that all we can do? Okay. No answer. No answer. Hmm. I got kicked out. So they use the back door for deliveries, right? Now hold up, you said you didn't get into cases like this anymore. <laughs> and you told me you had no first-hand experience with monkey butt. People don't change, Larry. Jeez, I recommend against it, but you do you. So are there other ways to get in? The truck over there just arrived and some fellows entered through the back door. I also heard verses coming from on the roof. So they must have a door up there. What do you guys think? Should I try to go through the back door or try to go through the rooftop? What would be funnier? What would be more fun? Let me know. Let me know. It'd be interesting to try and get on the roof, though. <gasps> ah, okay. We're going to do rooftop. How are you gonna get to the roof? Fire escape? There's no fire escape. The bite is too high. The press stand. That could work. Start with the press stand. Go to the go to the McKinsey, and proceed along the rooftops. You should know that bow is kind of a dick nugget. <laughs> okay. No idea if you use some sort of code. Okay. So there's either a code. Okay, so we have to try and go to rooftop and call him Sly Cooper. <laughs> yeah. Uh, $14.99 for a trim? It's a fur trimming. That's funny. Claw clippings! <laughs> I, can I sneak underneath him? Can I keep just sneaking? Nice! I was able to just... Fuck it. <laughs> Feeling peckish? I got sweet and savory. You can mix and match. Make your own trail meal. Uh, do you have any unshelled pumpkin seeds? Of course. Got salted and unsalted. Each baggie's worth half a loon, but I'll give you three for a loon. It's a steal. Um, I'll take one. So you're running around Gainfield? 
I need a way to get in. Got kicked out through the front door. <laughs> oh, uh, maybe there's a back door? I really don't know the place very well, sorry. You're itching to ask something. Go ahead. Um, why'd you get kicked out, sir? Um, they didn't like that I was snooping around. Why are you snooping around? I owe some money to the bartender. Didn't know your shift. Yeah, I see. That's quite a pickle. So do you know a way in? Sorry, sir. I really wish I could help. I would if I could. I swear, but I was being truthful before. Ever been on the rooftops? No. Okay. No thanks. See you. Okay. Huh. Oh, is this Mackenzie? Looks like it. And then there's the Foxy Burger. Once I got punched by a guy in a fedora who then puked all over my new coat. Ah, memories. <laughs> oh, here's Bo. Good day to you, friend. Fancy some fresh news? Uh, anything happening for a change? For a loon, you can read them all with your own eyeballs. I just want a headline. Front page today are all great eight parade preparations underway. Celebration starts Friday. Um, how is that news? It's the same every year. No way, the floats are different every time. Gonna sell mounds of nibbles. Drop by. One more thing. I like to climb your stand, please. Absolutely not. Come on. What if, what could I, oh, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. What if I could offer something in return? Spill it. I need that seed selling Pika Hawker off Granville. Uh, I don't know, Bo. That's not what I do. Scratch back. Mine, yours. You're lucky I'm desperate. All right, we got to get this kid off the street, dude. Come on, kid. You got to get out of here. Hey, Sid, not quite. I have a strange... Uh, what's up? Could you lead Granville at least for tonight? I'd rather not. Uh, Bo wants you off his turf. Oh, well, of course he does. He thinks we're rivals? Well, screw him. Um... Let's see. Remember I asked you about the rooftops? I found a way, but Bo won't let me go, go through until you leave. Righto, I have a business proposition to you. What if we got rid of Bo instead? How about no? You got a seller's permit? What do you know? Uh, allowance evasion is a pretty serious crime. But I'm on good terms with the cop or two. Yeah, right. I know you're just trying to scare me off. It isn't going to work. I'm just looking out for you. By bullying me? Just warning you. What? How about I smack that cart? Uh, just warning you. You better start moving. Something about Shepherd knows. This is fine. Kid's gone. Agreed, you sucker. I bet you anything he's back for tomorrow with a vengeance. You're useless. I I did what you asked. It's fine. Oh look at look at the animation. Look at the animation, it's so good. Who's the top dog now, Foxy Burger? Suck it. Oh my god, we're doing it. I'm fucking Sly Cooper up in this bitch. Whee! Damn, what a view. Guess there are benefits to risking your life on rank slick rooftops. Don't mind me, boys. Just pigeons. Look at it, we're doing the thing. Okay. I feel like this is it, right? Wish I could just stay here. Maybe the pigeons would accept me as one of their own. What a fucking mood. Okay, here's the bite. Alright, Green. After all that, you better be here, you bastard. <laughs> okay, everybody be quiet. Everybody be quiet, we're sneaking. A dressing room. Thanks to Shepard, it's empty. Okay, no turning back now. Happy birthday, Rose. I hope they gave you a day off. Merry get more. Oh, Rose, right. Nothing pops in the mouth like Pops candy. Come on, Howard, you can do this. You're doing this. Uh, some honey for your tea. Mum swears by it, Greg. Who's Greg? Nice fella. 
press crouch. Enemies can't hear you when you crouch and don't see you behind dark objects. Just gotta keep a low prof. Oh, so this would be like a dark objects. Okay. That was so fast. That was so fast. I no, I don't accept that. That was so fast. Okay. <gasps> oh. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Oh, private room. Damn, did I miss him? Maybe he left something behind that could help with Odette. There's a green tie stuff behind the frame. How did this get here? What the? A secret lift? Green hat. A green hat. Green must have been here. Now where's the rest of them? Herbs. Is this mucky butt? It really does stink like a butt. I think I could squeeze into it. Not that I particularly want to, but I can't afford to be picky. Oh, it's this game. Yeah, it is. Shut up, Vapor, about me messing up, but I did it. <laughs> okay, we're doing it. It's on Game Pass. This game is on Game Pass because it just recently came out. So I'm like really excited. <laughs> That's a grim looking furnace. What are they burning in here? Okay, we're going to crouch and open the door. Is this a freezer? Looks like the guests of the buyer are eating well. Greg, the inventory was off again. If I catch you stealing food, I'll chop off your grabby little fingers. I was gonna buy it on Steam like yesterday. Uh, you don't have to worry about it. Remember, it's on Game Pass. You just, uh, well, actually, uh, hmm. You have access to my Game Pass. I don't think you can make another save. I'm sorry, Vapor. You're gonna have to just wait for me to finish playing. <laughs> Unless you can make a new save. I'll check and see after I'm done with, like, you know, after stream. Yeah. Okay. Uh, intercom. Oh, you can dial. Uh, let's dial the... Uh, I'm scared. I don't know who to dial. Fuck it. Uh, dial the bar. Boy speaking. Hey, boy. Greg, you stuck in the freezer again? No, just checking the connection. Wait, who is this? Dial freezer. It's the same intercom you're using. Dial packaging. Dial the kitchen. Yo, this is the kitchen. What do you need? If that's Greg, no, I ain't making you a sack. I want to order a large piece of pineapple on top. Who is this? Don't go anywhere. <gasps> Someone's coming. Someone's coming. I'm scared. Do I peek out? I'm scared. Oh! Oh! That was so fast. <laughs> Gonna play game with the guy mans. <laughs> okay. Have fun, Vapor. Thank you for the lurk. Oh, there's a vent here. Oh, I see. Gotta make sure I'm not seen by the guy with big knives. <gasps> oh, I see. I'm scared. Can I just sneak past him? Oh, I thought I could sneak past him! Uh. Okay. Go, 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 go,
some kind of locker. Better keep moving. Uh, Gregory, could you maybe keep your papers in your locker? His favorite, Eight's Delight. Oh, this is something. Oh, damn it. Oh, I don't know what this is. Ooh. Uh, okay, hang on, everybody. Is this something with this? Maybe? Okay, that looks like it lines up. Um... Uh, does this line up with anything? No, it doesn't look like it. Or maybe this lines up with the paper, this newspaper right here, maybe? Let's try it. Uh, it's like AV1A. Fuck, dude. Um... Five of Diamonds. Four, three circles. We're, we're getting something here, folks. Greg, the turnkey is missing. It better be there when I get back. There's a code lock. Freight lift. Maybe it's my ticket out of here. Fuck. Five, zero... Uh, we've got a four, we've got five, wait, okay, wait, wait, square, uh, zero, zero, four, five, one, zero, four, five, one, I think, uh, zero, four, five, one, no, that didn't work, why didn't that work? It says square, circle, diamond, triangle. Square is zero. Circle is four. Diamond is five. Triangle. Am I doing? No, this one's right, right? A, V, A. Here we go. I doing wrong here because if I put this over here this doesn't make any sense does it no yeah that doesn't make any sense unless this is supposed to go over here yeah see no that doesn't make sense you press seven on the pad I did what the heck okay so it was a uh, zero wait no square four zero five one I'm panicking. Shut up. <laughs> uh, four, zero, five, one. Wait, no, that wasn't right. Wait, fuck. <laughs> I forgot the code already. <laughs> zero, zero, four, five, one. Zero, four, five, one. Zero, four, five, one. Zero, four, five, one. Oh my god, someone help me. There we go. <laughs> Don't. 420, baby. It's so cold down here. Where are the lights? Where are we going? Where is this? Oh my fucking what? <gasps> is he dead? Fuck me, fucking Jez, the off course off. Uh, no, don't touch the corpse. This is Jez. Um, uh, try to ascertain cause of death. He's, uh, maybe they overdosed him. The body lies here. It's still dead. Sniff the body. 
You know, like stale booze and cheap cologne held together by the herbal stink. Oh, yuck. Okay. Okay, everybody, shut up. I thought I could, I thought I could, like... What is he doing? Trigger warning galore, everybody. Greg here. No, I'm still working on a cut. Uh, okay, coming. <gasps> Are they feeding people people? Are they feeding? Ah! <gasps> Sorry, Jez, even though you didn't deserve this, nobody does. The turnkey. Maybe I'll make it out alive. Holy shit, dude. Now that we have the turnkey, we can go up in the list. Escape. We, we can't escape, though, you guys. Uh, we gotta find his daughter, though. Or her daughter. Oh, no! We fucked up! We weren't able to get the daughter! Damn it. Hi, cat. Time to restart. <laughs> Shut up, Blue. Oh, this is when he throws up because he saw a dead body. Is this why they call it backbone? Because we saw his backbone? <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Should I restart? Wait. <laughs> Should I restart? It was definitely in the- Oh, I completed Act 1. I got an achievement for it. Act 2, Connection. They were butchering him. No, that's crazy. Is the bite serving people flesh? Is that why it's called the bite? They were dismembering corpses and putting them into boxes. Uh, every time I close my eyes, the fuck am I going to do? This is so fucked up. Why Jez? What did he do? What if he's not the first? Uh, Sky seems to know for sure. I don't even want to know. I have a duty to do something. What am I going to tell Odette? What are you going to tell his wife, dude? I got an achievement. <laughs> I'm winning. <laughs> no, I got the achievement, dork. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Thank you for the redeem. I appreciate it. That's not what my computer says. Computer? Yeah? You have a computer? <laughs> Alright then. I digress. Also, my, my, uh, hang on. My, uh, water bottle is super fucked up right now. It spits cum. Okay, okay, Vapor. Alright. I'm, like, tightening up the... Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. My straw in my water bottle was getting loose, and I couldn't drink water out of it. Oh no, Vapor's using my email. <laughs> uh, the truth might be too harsh for her. Lo okay, what do you guys think I should do? Should I tell her? Should I lie to her? Should I drag it out? That her husband is dead, yo. Straight up is dead. Hey. Blue, what do you think? What should I do? <laughs> what would you prefer to do? Would you prefer that someone just come directly to you and be like, Yo, your husband's dead. I'm so sorry.
because it's very much the whole like if we tell uh oh hi cat there's a cat licking my leg hi hi junior hey being all cuddly i think we should tell the truth uh let's see i'll just call her and wing it maybe it's the best thing that he's got i have a duty to do something i have to stop anyone else being butchered like that this is my chance to do something meaningful but it's safe secure less time around corpse i also don't want to die i wish i had someone to talk to i'm fine i could do this alone no one would get in my way i have to wing it by myself like always i have to stop anyone else butchered like that i could go back get some evidence yeah, that's true. I should tell the police. Probably, yeah, Bloodworth probably has some kind of immunity. No way she's doing something like that without someone high up covering for her. Hi, I broke into private property and I like to report a butchering. <laughs> They'd probably ignore me for trespassing and ignore the rest. Yeah, I don't want the answers they asked me, so police are out of the question. Think, Howard, think. I have no clue to do. I'm useless. Fuck me. No, why this fuck, why me fuck this? I just slurred both of those together, didn't I? Sorry. If I drink enough, I'll probably forget about it. I just want this day to be over. <laughs> oh, poor baby. I just realized there's a tent in this park. Fuck this. Wishing well. Someone has been using this as a public toilet. Not sure flipping a coin would help. Ew. Lilac bush. Has that same herbal stink to it that, uh, no. Whoa, cut to the chase. I'm walking here. Get fucked. <laughs> Where are you headed? Fellas, it's been a long night. So, uh, why don't you find out? What, mate? You heard me. The fuck? You disrespected me? Come on, show me what you're made of. Get fucked. Ah! Ah! Oh! It's the investigative journalist! My name remembered me. I'm definitely gonna have to play this game again. Like, maybe in my off time. Like, when I finish this, then play it in my off time, you know? That's so good. It's so good. Oh, let's see. Relax. Howard Loader, we're safe here. You relax. I'm relaxed. Are you sure no one followed us? I'm sure. Let's talk. What about? All right, let me get let's let me get things started. Go ahead. I'm a writer. I've been researching Clara Bloodworth for a book on power and flu influence. I'm warning, writing on but the why are you interested? She may be the most unofficially powerful person in the city. Since she took over as head of her family, she's been expanding. New drugs, high-profile visitors to the bite, and more. She's also cutting up people in her basement. So you're an expert on Clarice? <laughs> you could say that. I've never talked to her directly, though. And you have. What's she like up close? Smart. She could see right through me. Yeah, that's my impression, too. She wouldn't get that far without knowing how to read people and their intentions. What kind of visitors are you talking about? Did you know there's a VIP lounge upstairs at the bar? Super exclusive. Some real influential guys have seen, have been seen there. I'm talking top bankers, senior police, even apes. I've been up there. I'm guessing you weren't invited. Bloodworth is getting some powerful regulars. No such thing as simple drinking with those kind of folks. Is she pushing drugs? Specifically monkey butt. Incredibly potent and super addictive. She serves the clean variety at but at the bite and the shittier version is turning up on the streets do you know how it's served at the bite 
someone owes me a favor, let's just say I asked them to have a good time, at least in the tum, for which someone like Bloodworth could serve a purpose. Uh, how did you find me in the park, bro? While I left the blight, you just got kicked out. I saw you running. I wondered what madness you were up to. Uh, yeah, I was pretty hot under the collar. Anyway, I staked out the back alley just in case. 20 minutes later, bingo, a puking raccoon. Uh, could have been usual back alley puking. And I followed you, hoping to ask what happened. Not sure why I let you drink that whole bottle first. Uh, glad you found me. Hope it was worth my while. Who are you working for? Oh, you be lurking? Okay, thank you, Vapor, for the lurk. I appreciate it. I also, like, super didn't read what you wrote. This game is gonna... I'm gonna stop watching because spoilers. No, I totally understand. I totally understand. <laughs> That's why I appreciate your lurk. I really do. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, myself, as for my funding, there's a guy, a rich, important asshole. It's an ego trip for him, but he knows I don't like being told what to do. Uh, who's the guy? The name wouldn't mean anything to you, but he thinks the book will make him look good. Also, dish the dirt on his rivals. Are you going to make him look good? No. Trick will be letting him believe that I have. You always tell it like it is, huh? Uh, when the time is right, especially when someone needs really needs telling. Let me guess, everyone needs telling. Only the bad guys. The book I'm writing about is about power and influence. How they work, how you get them. My end goal is to discern who really holds the most influence in the city. And what's that going to accomplish? People can't remake society if they don't even realize it's broken. Why am I here? What do you want from me? First, I want you to trust me like I trusted you just now. What did you find at the bite? I don't want to get anyone else wrapped up in this. Wouldn't it feel nice to share the burden with somebody? You wouldn't believe me anyway. I'm here to listen. I can help. What did you find? Lady, it's a long story. Start from the beginning. On your way here, you told me you're a PI. What led you to the bite in the first place? My case. What's the case? I got hired to track a die, take some photos. Why? What, what's his deal? He's a, he was a piece of shit cheating on his pregnant wife. I see. Disappointed, but not surprised. Did you find him? Yes, his corpse. What? Where? In the bite's basement. They were cutting up my target into pieces. What the fuck? There were other bodies hanging from the ceiling. I saw boxes of flesh. It wasn't just one body. Are you fucking joking? I wish I was. Let me get this straight. Bloodworth was cutting up people in the basement of the bite and then putting them into boxes. Hence the puking. I wouldn't put killing people past her, but this? Why? How the fuck would I know? I thought you were a detective. Never mind. I didn't ask for this. I'm not a fucking murder detective. Okay, wow. It really was an eventful night for you. What are you going to do now? I've got to get my shit together. <laughs> exactly. Then what's our plan? Um. I don't know about you, but I'm going to sleep. Ah, denial. How cute. But I didn't follow you through the city all night for nothing. I have a proposition. What is it? I want to invite you on an adventure. Can you be more specific? <laughs> with Work with me. I will, Let's find out the truth about Bloodworth. She's clearly more dangerous than I thought. She is, but what could we do? I never had a partner before, but my gut feeling says I can trust you. You, find, you found something that I couldn't, and you owe me one. Good, because we clearly can't trust my gut. Aha, uh -huh, get it, because you threw up. Ha uh ha. -huh. Just imagine you doing your thing while I work behind the scenes. Teamwork. Also, I'll pay you. A partner could be nice. Nice smarts, your stubbornness dream team. You're right. Okay. Now tea time, my brewing me some. <laughs> but I'm the guest, you do it. And I'm the mastermind pulling the strings. Get brewing. Okay, sure, boss. Okay. Turn the kettle on. Uh Let's try green minty. Yeah. Renee is pretty cool. Oh, I just got another. You decide to let your walls down and trust Renee from the start. Well, got that achievement. It just like pinged twice, though. It's been a while since I met someone like her. 
I must still be drunk. All right, let's put the kettle on. Boxes, you just moved in? I don't live here. It's my safe space. Where are we? Docks, not the most picturesque part of the town of the city, but at least it's hard to find. I have a similar one in my office. No good investigator should be without one. I love the animations. This, this game is so cool. I'm so excited. <laughs> ah, green tea. Thank you. Don't burn your tongue. Uh, way ahead of you. Oof. Ow. <laughs> so the case. We need to figure out what happens to that flesh. Did you see the Starling Cider Delivery Chuck in the Bite Alley? Yeah, and I had to dig around. That's right. You think of what I'm thinking? Uh, this truck smuggles the flesh away. Where are you going with this? What if I told you it's not a real Starling Cider van? What if you told me why? See, I'd seen it a few times while researching the bite. It's a good fake that you can tell up close. You could followed it, didn't you? I tried, but I'm no expert at trailing stuff. I'm a not I'm a writer, not a fighter. You have no idea where it goes after the bite. Well, luckily there are people you can pay to keep an eye on things. Long story short, I know it delivers to somewhere in Gastown. People like me. No, more like streeties and teenagers with too much time on their hands. I have a little network of friends. They didn't see the exact delivery location? No, my informant tracked it to the main commercial block and lost it. But I figured out it spends the night in the bite alley before going to Gastown the next day. So it'll be in Gastown tomorrow? Yep, you should figure out where uh, exactly where it delivers and investigate. We have to learn where that flesh goes. So it's a stakeout. Sure, but look where Starling is stocked. It's a fake truck, but the right place will probably still sell it to avoid suspicion. That'll help you narrow things down. That's some good detective thinking, Renee. Thank you. It's a needle in a haystack, but it's all we have for now. It has to be done. The only thing to fear is fear itself. You could do this. Uh, Clarissa could be tracking me. Well, fine. I have to call a debt. Whoever that is, go ahead. The phone is there. Arrange a taxi to gas town while you're at it. I've got a man for that. Be right back. I just realized. Oh, that's pausing. Continue. Oh, here we go. I just wanted to see. Uh, get drunk. <laughs> Figure out what to do with my life. Uh, we've got a small bag of cute looking seeds and then a, okay figure out what the boxes of flesh are in there with that where's the phone well can I look at the cork board oh, okay Renee's got her own investigation board set up. At least one of us is organized. Unrelated to the case, I wonder what her editor is like. Keep smiling, I'm coming for you, you monster. I feel like I should know which ape that is, but I'm drawing a blank. Probably one of the top dogs would, which doesn't narrow it by much. A butcher shop right in downtown Grainvale. Ugh. I don't think I could get, go back there even if I tried. Prominent family leader's death ruled as tragic accident. The renowned patriarch is mourned by his closest family, brother Clements and daughter Clarice. Yeah, I don't buy it. Hmm, noodles. Maybe I should... No, stay focused. Eyes on the pride, Howard. We're gonna call Odette. Uh, Odette, this is Detective Loader. Sorry to call this so early. Um... I'm not sure how to put it or I have your safe now I 
Hmm. Hmm. Uh, what will happen? You must tell me I'm his wife. Uh. I'm so sorry, Odette. You should file a missing persons report. Please just try to move on with your life, lady. Is is he not coming back? No, I'm sorry, I have to go. But please wait! I'm sorry. Uh, let's Anatoly. Tolly! It sounds so awake. You sound so awake. Ha ha, Holly. You think I was asleep? Sleep is for when you've got no babies. Be free today for you always. What's hanging? Ha ha. It's a pear or a peach. Um, what was I saying? Um, let's see. Pick me up today at nine. Uh, you bet, Howie and Tully, the dynamic duo of detective boy partners. Crime lords, beware. <laughs> Uh, Aloy, please remember to put some clothes on. <laughs> you the boss. Big payday. I wear a tiny hat if you want. You at your place? No. One second. Renee, what's the address? Tell them to pick you outside 1640 Alberni Street. It's a block away from here. Thanks, Tolly. 1640 Alberni. You know it? You and the docks. Wait, Howie, who's Renee? Who is she? Uh... Oh. None of your business. Can't wait. Gotta run. The poopy lad is being cranky. Dad life. Drive you soon. Hang up. Who are you gonna call? I call your mom. Loader residence. Hey, mom. Howie, what time is it? Are you okay? Did you hurt yourself? No, nah, mom. I'm just, I'm just checking in. You don't call for weeks and you check in at 5 a.m.? Yeah. How are you? I'm good. Do you need money? I have a job, Mom. I'm okay. Sure, a job. I just worry about you. What do you need? I don't need anything. I'm fine. Well, now that you're here, maybe you can help me. I keep seeing these damn spiders under the bed. Spiders, huh? Big ones? Huge! I'm not panicking, but where are they coming from? You should take a look for me because... Sure, I'll call you in a week or two. But you always are. It's fine. Luckily, I still have your father around to take care of your old loving mother. Mom, I love you. Oh, Howie, I love you too. Don't skip breakfast and stop smoking. Bye bye, baby. Oh, that was cute. That was really cute. Alright. Um. Odette is my client, the one that hired me. Uh, anyway, what's my end goal? Our goal is to confirm that it's smuggling fish out of the blight and to where or to whom. Anything you learn, report to me. Got it. I need to nap. You can stay for as long as you want. This place is my secret. I gotta, I'll go home now, and meet you back here later tonight. You don't want to, you don't want to stay? No. Call me if you need anything. Be careful out there. Goodbye, Renee. There she goes. Oh. Look at the art, you guys. Look at the art. It's so good. I love this art so much. Man, I looked away and missed that entire conversation. It's fine. Because <laughs> cat, my cat was here and I thought it was going to let me like keep going through. Let's see, here we are, Gas Town, Shepherd Almighty. What a swanky place. Looks can be deceiving. Doesn't apply to me. You go on and bother folks. I'm gonna get some quality and only chilly chill time. When's your truck coming? We'll see. Kick back in the meantime. It'll be here before you know it. Bring me a magazine or paper while you're at it. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. It's so hot and I'm so lazy. You're telling me. Okay. We are in Gas Town. Buy a new pack of cigarettes. I'm figuring out, figure out where. 
I need a couch or a new couch. Here's the liquor shop. Luis. I'm waiting on a delivery. Could you come back later? Do you still Starling Cider? Come back later. I have to close the shop. Um. Oh, you're right. Hmm. Here's the bookshop. Uh, what can you tell me about the local area? I'm a bookseller, not a tourist guide, but we do have the Gaumons Gallivant around Gastown if you're interested. I'll pass on that one. Thanks. It's a bit tasteless. Pun very much intended. Bye for now. His name is Poochie. <laughs> Hello, Sean. Yeah, I'm on my smoke break. Uh, that's fine. I'm just passing the time. You give up on philosophy? <laughs> Preach. So what's up? Guess I wouldn't come in to make small talk once in a while. Um, what are the locals like? <laughs> They're all assholes. Aren't you a local too? Yep. Point proven. <laughs> you own this place? Yeah, I've been here for a couple years now. How are you liking it? The rent here is so steep, it would be cheaper in the West End, but half the folks up there don't even have a su stable supply of juice. You gotta follow the loon, I guess. I guess I just realized loon is the currency. Anyway. Yeah, it just does my head in. I'm selling fancy new colored light bulbs while half of the population rely on candles. Is it gonna get any better? Doubt it. It is what it is. Once you make it, you can help other people. Make rent, make stuff, help others do the same. My motto. One day. Yeah, Junior, you're just rolling around. I try to help people. Why electronics? Yeah. You know where you stand with electronics, unlike everything else in life. Electronic stuff still breaks, and that's good, otherwise I'd be out of a job. Got it all figured out. Yep. I'll leave you to it then. What is this? This is a deli shop? We don't need a deli shop. Who is this dude? His name is Doc. Oh. Thanks, I grew it myself. <laughs> of course, your kind has always inherited problems, but I have to look at mine. Perhaps there's a correlation. A look at what? Could you bare your teeth like so? Say rawr. Rawr! Fascinating. No signs of overbite, slight concave curve to the canines, no yellowing at the base or tip, but not too pale. Concave curve? Indicates that your intellect is at a lower level. <laughs> oh shit, than usual for fox carnivores, but not too bad, I imagine you <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Hello, Tin. Yes, it's the furry noir game, and I'm having a great time. I'm having so much fun being this raccoon detective who's so fucking snarky. Hello, Ivy. Welcome back from lurking. <laughs> This fucking beagle just called us not intellectual <laughs> because of our canines. I love it so much. I imagine you're always such an asshole. Stop this pointless quarreling. Let us engage in Hesias. I'm leaving, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Get your papers. It's Mo. Uh, is that you, Bo? No, I'm Mo. Who's Bo? The rabbit from Granville. Shush, go away. You're scaring off my clients. What's happening locally? What's happening? Like what? Uh, any suspicious traffic? Nope. I got better things than count cars. Any funny locals I should look out for? I'm funny and very local. Want to hear a joke? Sure. What do you call a dead baby rodent? Peekaboo. I don't get it. Pika is a kind of rodent. You play peekaboo with babies. Go say boo. So the ghost of a dead rodent says what? Peekaboo. Get it? Okay, Mo. <laughs> Anything spooky going on? Yeah, man, the pigeons are getting crazy. Someone's got poison. Got to poison the bastards. I'm telling you. Or else we're gonna have geezer plague part two on our hands. Ah, oh, at least geezers are useful. They deliver stuff. All right, you need paper. News. You want news? Crosswords? I got a little something something for grown ups. What's the paper headline? Grand Shepherd Temple opening scheduled for the annual Ape Day Parade. Uh, I'll buy one then. 
Here you go. Thanks. Okay. Wait, what are the other papers that he had? Oh, that's it. Okay, that's fine. We gotta buy cigarettes too at some point. Oh, here. I got you this newspaper. Okay, I guess. Did I get the wrong paper? I don't read the news. Oh, yeah, me too. I gotta go. Here's a hotel. Are they playing a game? Lily. Got a smoke? I'm all out. Then go buy some. <gasps> there it is! <gasps> there it is! I should get into that. All done, Grandpa. See you next week. Uh, do you sell Starling Cider? Of course, my friend. But if you want something refreshing, may I have to recommend you my very own light stout? I have apple, cherry, and blueberry infused variantals but i love starling cider the most and you just got a fresh delivery ah well i have some in stock already it's perfectly good if you let me buy it fresh from the crate i'll make it your worthwhile uh uh i really appreciate your enthusiasm but i have to uh take inventory and oh there's bookkeeping why so flustered louie something wrong sir this is my shop i won't be hen hen or gar hen or gude? I don't know what that word is. I won't be handy cute uh, like this in my own shop. Now please purchase something in or leave immediately. Louis, Louis, I'm a private investigator. We need to talk. What? Well, there's nothing. But if it will make you happy and leave me alone. She got, uh, where are you buying those crates from? Uh, just my usual wholesale supplier. I'd love to ha only sell my own brews, but sadly people are slow to love them. If they had more taste, then... Then, you stock any merchandise from the bite? Wh like what? Isn't it a bar and club? They don't export everything. You got any buyers for those crates? I, I mean, I haven't unpacked them. I told you, but you know, how about a free sample of my own porter? You really trying to pay me off with hooch? G goodness, no. I I'm just being hospitable. A drink to smooth things over always helps. Have you heard of Clarissa Bloodworth? I've heard of her. Who hasn't? She owns that bar. The Bite, I think it's called. You ever meet her? No, gosh. She's not, not only the kind of person you just run into. What's in the Louis crate? What's in the crate? What's in the Louis crate? Oh, God. What's in the crates, Louis? You talk or bad things will happen. Sir, I don't know what you want to hear, but this shop is my life. I want the truth, and I'm ready to hurt you for it. Oh, Shepard, look. Do you want the money? Take everything. I promise to keep you safe if you talk. Now. Talk about what? You wouldn't understand. I mean, if there was something. You don't have to do this alone. In, in what? Even if my position is unique. It's no fair. You have no idea. Help me on. Help me understand. I'm on Team Louie. You'll just make things worse. Louie, I'm investigating Clarissa. I've got your back. I suppose if you found a way into the storage room after I dropped this key, I'll take a look. Oh, here it is. There's the crate. Oh, inspect it up close. It's a fading Starling Cider logo on the side. The box is a simple construction of cheap wood with a flat lid. Look in the lid. Uh, the lid doesn't appear to have a lock on it, so there's no obvious way to open it. Inspect the lid. You run your finger across along each ledge of the lid. At one point, there's a tiny recess in the side. Lift the lever up. Look inside. Individually wrapped in thick silvery paper. Whew. Sniff the packages. This, it has a chemical tang. 
your ovary, your olfactory observation is filled up with the musty basement smells of damp and old cigar smoke. Hold the puking and unwrap a package. It's a neat square of flesh. Inspect the flesh. The flesh, the flesh is light pink with a striated texture. Sniff it. Sweet, fatty, with notes of acidic tang. For those that ha uh, are late, um, we were in a club trying to find a cheating husband. And in the process, <laughs> we found his dead body in the basement of the club. Only to find that, like, in the process of the dead body being dead, they were cutting it up and putting it into boxes. So we, like, tried to follow where the truck went for delivery. And we found, we found the meat. We found the flesh. <laughs> I've seen enough. Let's get out of here. Louie, we need to talk. You saw it? Illegal fish fillets? It's a dangerous black market. You think I don't know what fish smells like? Ah, some don't smell as fishy as you think. When did you find out what was in the crates? Only recently. I was told not to look, but I had to know. If I hadn't, then I could just pretend. Now tell me everything. No one will give you this chance. But but if she finds out I told anyone, I'll get thrown over the wall, you understand? If I tell a soul, I'm worse than dead. What do you do with the boxes? Nothing. I just look after them until they're re-delivered. Delivery? A woman calls, asks for the usual. I get one of my boys to deliver the crate to her. I was instructed not to ask questions. The caller, who is she? Her name is ba Bajwa, is all I can tell you, sir. I can write down the address for you. It's my head if Budward hears of this. Baja who? I don't know, I never ask. How did you end up with boxes full of flesh? I didn't have a choice. Faze has conspired against me. Maybe it was a hard choice, but you still had one. But did you try and fight fate? No, I didn't. You'll never understand. Ah, calm down, Louis. Go on. Do whatever you want. I don't care. What does Clarissa have on you? I just... Why me? Why her? Neither of us did anything to anyone. I just worked hard, paid our taxes. It's the damn city's fault. Why isn't her medicine free? Ah, her? Someone close to you? Miss Bloodworth is keeping my sister alive. She pays the medical bills. Okay, this already fucking sucks. I even thought about selling the shop, but the loans wouldn't have lasted. Keeping her alive. How? Leah is ill. Too ill to work. Needs medication for life and its expenses. The doctor is with Bloodworth. The meds are paid for and never late. My name's Howard, by the way. Well, Howard, I don't know about you, but I need a stiff drink. Thanks, I'll pass. Oh, he's just playing. Howard, I'm sorry. I don't want to drink on the job, so I'll let him enjoy that. You're missing out, but fine by me. Thank you, Louie. I have to go now. Well, what are you going to do? It's better you don't know. But I was honest with you, but you said I could trust you. You can. You'll be fine. Just please, so you don't tell anybody about this. I can't bear to live in any more- and, and even more fear. You've got nothing to fear. Thank you. Shepard guides you. Sure he does, like he guided you. I think it's time you left, sir. One last question. When is this Bajwa expecting delivery? Well, Joey took a crate over a few days ago. She's expecting a box of cigars today, but I'm not sure about the other crates. Tell Joey he's got the day off. I'll take the cigars. I, You can't. They'll suspect. And if it gets back to me, Leah, trust me, I do this all the time. Give me the cigars. I Fine, I can't stop you. My life may be worthless, but other people will suffer if you're not careful. Stay safe, Louie. Ooh, you did your best to reassure Louie. I got another achievement. Oh, he's like crying. Good luck, Louie. 
I should call Renee. Who's this? Mrs. Tilly. Just saying hi, Miss Gedeka Slopes. Miss, that's the guy who tried to sell us. So more like refused to. Don't worry, sir. Lily has a nice of condition of fitting. One of those plethora of reasons to see me after school, young lady. Go easy on her. It's a tough age to be. Nice of you to try and protect her, but you leave that to me. Good point. I don't envy you. Being a teacher has certain challenges and more every day, it seems. It's a noble profession. If only the children agreed with you. Oh, I just realized, look at the rain. Oh, that's so cool. I love it. Look at the rain. Ah. <laughs> oh, it probably is, to be honest. Little shits. You know, yes, they can be surprisingly cutting, but that's just the cruelty of adolescence. You can blame them. Truth be told, I blame the parents. Yep, they can suck too. <laughs> Oh man, school can teach kids a lot of things, but it's up to the parents to lay the foundations of discipline and respect for the world around them. You never think you're fighting a losing battle? Uh, so what's your role in all this? Being there for the children. Many of them don't have any other guidance in their life. You're doing good work. I'll leave it to you. Brat. Oh, who's this? Ginger. Good afternoon, young lad. Good afternoon. How are the pigeons? They're good. Thank you for asking. They know me better than anyone by now. How long have you been feeding them? I come out here every day. Have done for the last five years. And I must say, I enjoy the peace and quiet. Quiet? Quiet. Sure you don't want some company? My feathered friends are company. I'm so sorry. My window's open and I'm sure you can hear all of that. Let me know if I should shut my window. It's just hot in my room. Ah, does the conversation get one-sided? There's a difference between loneliness and solitude, young fellow. Enlighten me. Loneliness is a yearning, an emptiness. Solitude is space to be by yourself, to know yourself, to love yourself. When I'm alone, I try to drown myself, I mean. And which are you feeling? I am solitudinous, of course, every now and then. I wonder if there is someone out there who could be solitudinous with me. Anyone in mind? Just someone gentle and quiet with an interesting story. Noted. It was a pleasure meeting you, good man. Good baby, baby, baby. Let me tell you, hot baby, 90 and 79% humidity? No, fuck that. Big clock. Grandfather Steam, watching over Gas Town as always. Keep it up, old man. Okay, that's calling Renee. Oh, who's Harold? Um, now I... But where did... You okay? Don't mind me, Sonny. Just wish I could remember. I can remember what? If I dropped it here. What did you lose? I dropped my ring, blasted slippery thing. How did you drop it? I'm not sure. Sometimes I find myself turning it without realizing it. Was it important? It was my wedding ring. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Your wife gonna be mad? I hope not. She passed a long time ago. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, Sonny, if you can help me get this manhole open. I don't think we're allowed to do this. But without it, what if I forget? Uh, we remember things that matter. Irma, she matters. How long were you married? Not long enough, but every even but even one day was enough to change my life. Well, I hope you find that one day. But I don't want memories to fade. Objects help to remind. Don't you have anyone to talk about her with? No, just me. For seventeen years. I do miss having someone to share the afternoon with, feed the pigeons, do crossword, you know. Uh, wait. Harold Harold you, uh Ginger, there's a guy I think you should meet. I don't, I don't. I'm just connecting to like-minded. Um, what makes you think I enjoy talking to him? He's got a lot of love to give. He's a sweet guy, very philosophical. He's right over there. Should I introduce you to? Oh my god, am I playing matchmaker? I love it. Hey, 
What would you say for some company? Not me. Someone who could use some company. The person over there. Feeding pigeons. I already squared it away with her. Go on. She's looking forward to meeting you. Come on. If you say so, I suppose it couldn't hurt. Okay, Harold, let's go. Tell her the raccoon sent you. Good luck. Look at them! My work here is done. Oh, whoa, look at we! <laughs> we did it! We <laughs> look, they're having a good time. Oh, that makes me happy. We did it, you guys. Okay, let's call Renee. Tell me why ain't nothing but. Sorry, I got a league. A league? A lead. Uh, Clarissa is using a liquor store, liquor shop as a front. Who buys from there? Someone named Bajwa. Any idea who she is? Not sure. Not sure yet. Where did you learn? There's that. An address on the top is interesting. Feel like we need to go over for a house call. Heck yeah, I love peeping into people's windows. <laughs> hmm, maybe not the best idea to just barge in and confront her. I have a delivery for her. Oh, good idea, but that won't get you into the apartment. Uh. One thing at a time. It's more like a uh, spontaneous improvision, or <laughs> I just hope Bajo doesn't eat me. <laughs> Get on with it. I'm going, I'm going. Good luck. You're doing great. Call me after and head straight home, okay? Home? Well, it is where you live now. Right. Speak soon. All right. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, we're supposed to try and buy, yeah, buy a pack of cigarettes. Where would cigarettes be? Would they be here in the deli shop? Did I even go in here? I don't think I did. Uh, can I interest you in some honey nut glazed apple sticks? You got red apple sticks? Sure do. Three loons for pack of ten. I'll take them, thanks. Here you go. That'll be three loons. I'm looking for some fresh and seasonal. I finally did get in this new shipment. Eh. Well, finally. It's been unseasonably cold. Slowed down the growth of a lot of crops at the greenery. The apes are taking care of it, they said. Oh, I didn't hear about that. Right, news about suboptimal agriculture output rarely makes the front page. Hmm? Is it serious? We should be fine. It's just we're so reliant on agricultural and the greenery. So fresh stuff is going to be more expensive for a while. I feel like that's on 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 purpose. Oh, all right, Shiva, work your magic on me now. Oh no, I used my serum before my toner. It just happens. It's okay. <laughs> I like how he's like, is, could this be the place? Does it look too fresh? Ocean crunchies, good for the munchies. If it's a possum. Okay. Got our cigarettes, now we can leave, right? Yeah. Okay. Hello, my friend. Let's drive. Tops, let's go. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Why did the Nya scare me, Ivy? <laughs> Ha! Ah, lead on, partner. Sounds like this is a bigger deal than usual. You're uh, being careful, right? Uh, relax. I'm not about to deprive you of your best customer. Best friend? Sure. If you're my best customer, how don't come you don't tip? <laughs> because best friends don't need to tip until no It's been being polite. Polite? I didn't realize you are part of high society, Howie. You fixing to become a minister? 
It's po- the softest, cutest meow, possibly. I don't know. It's because it's so sudden. And it comes out of nowhere. Ooh. My name is Finn. I'm a land with a strict policy of only admitting visitors who've been pre-invited. I have a delivery for Miss Bajwa. Ah, uh, yes. There's a delivery boy on the list. She's in apartment 1144. Cool. See you. 1144. Eek. What? Eee. Why do I look... What do I look like to you? A lazy rich guy? Ha! Huh, you got that part right. But I worked for it, fool. Doing what? Even you like to know. Well, I did ask. You don't live here. Nope, I'm a delivery boy. Delivering anything I'd like? I don't know. What do you like? Show me what you got. Uh, it's against regulations. I'll gut you like a fish. And ruin that fancy suit? Ha! You got moxie, fool. I like someone who can make me laugh. You're hired. I, I, what? Haha, <laughs> come on, baby. I'm just playing. Look on your face, though. I'll bite. Who am I talking to? The name's Nikki. People call me the wolf. <laughs> Even your mom? Oh, you're bringing my mother into this? Do you want to die? Not unless you <laughs> insist. My mother is everything to me. I like to think mine is proud of me. Oh, yeah? Can't take a joke because you're so special. Uh, oh, I wish I was. Oh yeah, if you ask Slicey, I can get you on the wolf hotness level, fool. I'm sh- oh, I didn't mean- I'm fine down here at my own level. Goodbye then. I'm- I'm- I didn't mean to- oh well, I fucked that up. What is this? Pop plants. These plants look better than most people I know. Definitely me. Eleventh floor. <gasps> here we go! I'm scared, I'm nervous, everybody. I'm nervous. Notice board. Board 20 committee meeting this Friday. Is it Inspect. Looks like a fire escape. I'm guessing it must be this one. Miss Bajwa, yes? Miss Bajwa, I've got a delivery for you. Ah, the cigars. Right here, can you confirm the recipient's name? I may not get to enjoy them, but I am the recipient, a Louise Bajwa. It is following procedure, you understand? Oh, fine. What about the payment? I have an arrangement with Louise taken care of. Uh, oh, of course, my mistake, apologies. Oh, it's no trouble. Oh, will you ask Louis for another special case in a couple of weeks? I'll pass on the message. Will there be anything else? That's all, but take this for your towel. Much obliged. You have a lovely afternoon. You too. Goodbye. Oh, any feedback on the last delivery? Stop prying. You can leave now. Fine. That's the mail. Bajo is just the maid. Figure out who the apartment really belongs to. Okay. Pissing her off isn't going to help me get in there. I have to find another way in. Sucker, someone recommend me a new masseuse? Chet. Chet apartment 18. Alright, I'm guessing we're gonna have to like... Look at the little animation! It's so cute. Dude, I can't reach it with my short arms. Can we climb it? It looks cozy inside. Okay, I'm being creepy. Hmm. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, use umbrella. Oh, I see. As with the hook. There we go. I should get rid of it. My pockets are too small. Oh, poopy. Throw away the umbrella. Screw you, umbrella. Hi yeah. All right, let's climb this. Get 
city looks so strange from up here, but it's easy to forget how real people are struggling down below. Isn't that how it usually goes? Hi, geese. Pet the geezer. Who's a good boy? You're a good boy. <laughs> you can pet the geese? Window? I should inspect it. It's closed on the latch, but it actually opened the tiniest bit. I, should, I don't have anything. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming I can use this thing right here. Well, a putty knife. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, stranger. I forgot my keys. I don't know. I don't want to know. Saw you climbing. Nice moves. What do you mean? Your butt. Nice. It's been a while since I heard that. Too bad. I'll tell you that every day. <laughs> that would be lovely. Is that catnip you're smoking? Yep. Want some? Uh, would love to, but busy. Sure. Bye, baby doll. Bye, gorgeous. It was very random. I bet the punny knife is thin. Lift the latch and boom. There's no one inside. Fuck it, Howard, you're at it again. Oh, we're sneaking into the apartment. Everybody shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. It's the shepherd. I don't see anything. Uh, hello, mister. Are you lost? Yes, that's right. I'm new. Part of the hired help. You look funny. Funny weird or funny haha? -ha? You're a strange one, aren't you? I'm super ordinary. So what are you doing? I'm a cleaner. Daddy says cleaners are absurd because their own houses are probably full of rubbish. <laughs> oh, okay. What does daddy do? My father is a research and development secretary. He's secretary of research and development. What about your mom? Mine keeps the house and father, and helps father with the paperwork. How great for her. Mine is dead. Classic, whose house is this? I don't know, daddy calls him Big Boss. Does Boss have a name? When I grew up, I never go anywhere to do any work. What? What do you do instead? Theo here just likes to annoy me and play with her dumb dolls. Uh, you got a better idea? I'm going to be like Big Boss can, and, and have the best cigars. Hey kids, can I ask a favor? Daddy says a single favor can be priceless, but m more than one makes you worthless. I will owe you both one, good, one great big fat favor. That depends. What do you want? My boss will be, uh, I need to tell you. Uh, yeah, keep your secret. They'll be angry at you too. No, they won't. Why would they? Spending time with a peasant like me? Oh, they'll be pissed. Hmm. But it could be fun to watch you get shouted at. I could do that, you know. Shout! And what do you think they'll say to you afterwards? Nothing. I'm daddy's favorite. Yeah? So why aren't you with him right now? We're stuck in here. We snuck in here. What are your parents doing? They're eating dinner. We had ice cream already, so we're not hungry. I won't snitch if you won't. Fine, you got yourself a deal, Mr. Theo. Take a peek. Can we sneak out? No, you peek. I don't wanna. No, you. No, you. I'll take a peek. Okay. There's a lion. There's two monkeys. A lioness. I hear no sound. I am scared. Why do I not hear sound? an ape <gasps> are they eating the people they're eating they are eating it hi society they're eating the animals <laughs> no is it clear can we go did you see anything strange uh did you uh do you know any of the names of the grown-ups 
you know what they're really eating in there? Oh yes, tell us. You hired help. You have to know it's law. And they're eating flat now. <laughs> it's just a new herb. No, new. I want to try it. I'm sure they'll let you try some if you're good. Also, sim things only appreciated by grown-ups. That's true. Most people can't appreciate the best things. Exactly. I better get to work. Thanks, Mr. Come on, Theo. Okay. Uh, search the desk. Um, take. Oh, okay. Open the drawers. They're locked. Take the mug. Father of the year. Inspect the book. Nature within us by Jordan Rained. Take. Read the back of the book. Uh, Raymond treats ground meat to utopian society. Hidden compartments? Give up on finding a cool secret compartment. Let's see. Look at the pile of papers. Grab them. Sniff the desk. Scent of oil, citrus, and smoke. Feel the desk. Leave the desk alone. Now let's get the fuck out of here. Where's time to go? Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Let's do it. Renee, all right, you barge into some- <laughs> Oh, shit! Okay. Thank you so much for the redeem vapor. I greatly appreciate it. Are you proud of yourself? <laughs> Why have you done this to me? Just letting you know I'm there. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. Excuse me while I go cry in the corner now. <laughs> How could you do this to me? Alright, so you barged into someone's study and stole a bunch of papers. I prefer the term borrowed. Of course, what were you thinking? Um, I couldn't find anything else, sorry. Well, let's see what you got here. Could you read out loud? I think my best with my eyes closed. Where do I start? Start small, something that looks personal. Maybe handwritten? Oh, here's one. It's handwritten note on a scrap of yellow sticky paper. Read it. Chef Tanner, I have a priority order for you. Your head of biochemistry will now report directly to me burn after reading. Let's analyze this. Something specific caught your eye? Chief Tanner? Yeah, who is that guy? Uh, we have a name. Can't you look it up? I could try. Maybe I don't have to. Uh, head of biochemistry? Uh, uh, bleh. That's a good point. You can find those in the science city. Report directly to me. To give that order, you need some serious authority. You're right, maybe the highest. Okay, let's draw a conclusion. Chief Tanner must be managing the head of biochemistry who probably works in the science city. Who is the buyer then? Uh, the science minister? Right, you stole these documents from the science minister. Nice, Howard. Wow, this is big. Scary stuff. So the science minister is buying flesh from Clarissa. What is she gaining from this? Let's see if we can figure out that next. All right. Okay, let's see. There's an R&D report. An official looking report on Science City branded paper. Research Project 76 slash 5B introductory report. Oh. <laughs> what do you owe knowing for? <laughs> Um, anyway, sorry, I got distracted. Minister, protein analysis, the new sample is underway. The sample possesses hythro uncatalog genes whose functions will require time to isolate via RNA tracking. This can't be rushed, as I said before. Please have patience. Let's look closely at this. What should we focus on? Um, uncatalog genes. Sounds important, right? Are they developing new technology? I mean, sure, but how can you find new genes? Protein analysis of the new sample. 
You understood that biochemistry stuff? I'm impressed. Yes, proteins and RNA are genetic terms. And our minister hired a biochemist, remember? This can't be rushed, as I've said before. It must be the biochemist he hired writing this. Uh, the science minister is not an easy guy to work with. Sounds right. Like, the scientist has had to tell the minister to be patient already. Let's look at the other papers. RSVP? An an envelope containing a single sheet of high quality paper with such neat writing and signature. Dear friend, I will of course attend our monthly celebration. I can't wait to see what delicacy you've prepared for us this time. TN. Let's analyze this. Dear friend. Who's TN? Is that the president? Theodore Nashville? Are you fucking kidding me? No way. What delicacy you prepared. What is he talking about? Flesh? Howard, they're eating people. Our monthly celebration. What month? What are they celebrating? That they get richer and more powerful each month? Some sort of ancient cult tradition? Bastards. We're done with this document. Handwritten memo. It's a handwritten note on a scrap of yellow... Oh, okay. Yeah, we've already seen this. Other documents. Briefing log. A leather dossier with a Golden City emblem engraving. There are a few pages inside. My right honorable ministers. I wanted to summarize my official recommendations on the new street drug in circulation named Monkey Bud. Despite the insulting name, I don't believe it to possess significant addictive qualities. There is no widespread risk to the public health, so criminalization is not warranted. I will continue to monitor the situation with the cooperation of the police. Your dossiers include the detailed toxology breakdown. Let's analyze this. Where do we start? No widespread public risk. He manipulated the test results. Right, we know it has access to a laboratory. My right honorable ministers. Yeah. This report was seen by the highest level of officials. Yeah, if they accept the report, those drugs are basically legal. Criminalization is not warranted. The minister and Clarissa sells drugs together. The recommendation benefits her. Yeah, that would get a lot of heat off of her. Okay, other documents. Police note, a blank note, a blank page of paper with a small type note and no other details or clues. Read it. Esteemed fellow minister, the recent reports of disappearance from the West End have a clear connection. I don't know why you want them left alone. There's only so much we can turn a blind eye to. If this becomes a scandal, it's both of our asses to fix it. Renee, any thoughts? I heard about these disappearances. I fucking knew there was a pattern. This is huge. Let's see. Uh, I don't know why you want them to be left alone. Why does a science minister even care? They're all being turned into flesh. Potentially, but it's a stretch. It's clear proof the sinus minister is covering something up, though. The recent reports of disappearances from the West End have a clear connection. What's the connection? They're all from the West End? Yes, but more importantly, the minister or someone close to him could be the link. Fix it. Um, the police will start investigating soon. Yep, seems like if people keep going missing, the police will be forced to investigate which the science minister clearly doesn't want. And then there was his the letter to daddy. Daddy, I love you very much. Please give money for my birthday. I want to buy a lizard. Renee, oh wait, no. Okay. I think we're done here. Right, Howard, what exactly is the relationship between Clarissa and the minister? They are partners? What does the minister want? What is he getting from this? Flesh? Judging by what you saw in the dinner RSVP, these ministers and maybe the apes at large are considering low-class people a delicacy. It could have been me on those plates. Unthinkable. And Clarissa is enabling this? What does she get in return? Immunity. Eighth ministers are a girl's best friend. If the science minister helps to protect her from the police or any other meddling in her business, then she gets to safely produce drugs. Yes, Howard. She almost has absolute power while the minister is on her side. The drugs are pretty straightforward. It's the pity, the missing people that bother me the most. 
Should we look into the West End thing? Oh my god! <laughs> I just... I... I... <laughs> Hello, Dino. <laughs> Thank you for the redeem. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> You scared me and I had to take a second. Like, I was like, I need to pause. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, welcome. We're playing Backbone. I'm so excited. I'm a raccoon detective. And we found out a lot of things. It's really creepy. Yay. Okay. We'll have to get you the reports, names, and addresses. How is this game? Looks super cool. Dude, no. This game is really cool. I greatly enjoy it. The art, amazing. Animations, phenomenal. The cutscene, like art that you get when you're transitioning from certain places. Wow. The story, creepy. <laughs> it's really cool. Uh, I have Game Pass. Like, I pay for Game Pass. And so when this game, this game was on Game Pass and I was really excited. So I was like, ah! This is gonna be my game for a while. Maybe I'll beat it. Who knows? This is on Game Pass? I know, right? It's on Game Pass and it just came out. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> Gonna install it now, bros. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, we'll have to act now. There must be something else we're missing. An even bigger benefit to Clarissa. Maybe she wants to become a minister. No way a woman, let alone one that isn't even an ape, is becoming minister some anytime soon. Science stuff, then. That would explain why the science ministers she's interested in. He was researching something again. What was it? RNA? Proteins? Proteins? Right, proteins. They found new genes in a secret lab in Science City. Secret research that only the minister and one scientist knows about. I agree. It's crazy suspicious. <laughs> Gotta download. Gotta go fast. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I agree. It's crazy suspicious. Could Clarissa be interested in this type of research for her own purposes? Could that, could that, could have, well, could be that the missing girls are all making drugs in that lab. That would be neat and tidy, but I think there's still too much we don't know. We must look into it. But getting into the science city will be hard. Into the most secretive building in the city? I am, but first, Weston, we're uncovering something incredible, Howard. This partnership is working out. Yeah, we're really doing it. Oh, great. Our takeout arrived. Nice, I'll get it. Mmm, takeout. De delivered via goose. I love it. Why am I walking around? Thank you, geezer. Indeed. Here's your loon, buddy. Fly free! Drink with me. Something stronger than tea this time. But you never ask. Tonight's poison is gin. You a gin man? Pour me a tall one. Look at it. Cheers. Cheers to you, Renee. To me? So how are you feeling? About the case and everything. I still can't wrap my head around it all. I know. I feel like I've never done anything more important. I'm glad you're by my side. Um, I couldn't do this without you, to be honest. Yeah. Oh my god. Thank you, Howard. I feel like all my past work, my whole life, has been leading to this moment. Same. Hmm. You were writer before? Yeah, I spent my whole life. Oh. Did that goose just deliver food? Yeah, it did. That goose hella just did. 
Can you imagine? I I don't know. Would you prefer to get your food delivery via the window? <laughs> Instead of having to go and, and, like, to the front door. Also, there's construction happening outside. I'm so sorry if you can hear it. Because they're, they're building a train station right in front of my apartment. It's been a great time. It won't get finished until 2024. Three years, baby! <laughs> I'm so excited. Anyway. Yep, spent my life trying to find the words for how and why everything is so fucked up. Fucked up how? Clarissa isn't just a bad apple. Everything is connected. She's a system... She's a symptom of a system totally rigged by the status quo. What do you mean? Do you think it's a coincidence that you found Jeremy being butchered? The rich are literally eating the poor, Howard. Um, by the way, Bino, that is literally what this game is. <laughs> the rich are literally eating the poor. <laughs> yeah, you have fun with your food. <laughs> That's the, the ironic timing. Oh, man. Oh, thank you for the lurk, Bino. Enjoy your food. Hopefully it's tasty. <laughs> oh, God, my mouse. Not my mouse. I dropped my controller. Ah. Okay, let's see. Do you think it's a coincidence? Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Um, do you think it has something suspected to do with class? It has everything to do with class. Hang on. My back is itchy. Where's my back scratcher? I'm so itchy. Okay. It has everything to do with class. How do you know that? I don't know. I always fit in. People liked me, yet I felt disconnected. I was sleepwalking, and one day, something cracked inside of me. Um, what happened? Last year, I was reporting for the City Herald. There was an incident in West End. It made me into who I am now. What incident? Pipes burst into one of the old build older buildings. A tenant called sewer services. It took them three hours to arrive. People boiled alive. I tried to report on it and got fired. What the fuck? Oops, oops, oops. All these people in areas like Weston and Docks are invisible, neglected, and they die every day. This city is built upon their blood. I can't take it. I have to do something. I feel the same way after the bite. Good. Nothing will be the same again. We won't be able to pretend to be normal anymore. I don't want to be normal anymore. Right. It's time to change things, finally. I believe in us. Have you been sleeping since... Uh, been trying not to, not been getting much, not worse than usual, not been getting much. I have this reoccurring nightmare. I'm listening. I'm running through the thick black mud, and then it swallows me whole. Sounds a bit like mine. Hmm, what is it? Uh, I'm falling from a multi-story building. It's on fire. Ooh, I wonder if this is like, hmm. It's on fire and then I die. I try to scream and wake up sobbing and I just keep falling until I wake up. Classic, yep. Are you close with your mom? Close enough. What does that mean? It's complicated. Complicated how? It's hard to explain. She's my mom. I have to Yeah, they definitely had that uh, kind of energy when he was on the phone. No one is owed anything from you, especially love. Parents can be assholes too. Oh shit, what the fuck? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Uh, what's her deal? Um, uh, she's just been spiraling for years. She's complacent. She's got no per perspective. Go on. Uh, she believes everything they say on TV. She treats me like an idiot that she owns. Yeah, I definitely can also feel those. Hi, cat. Can I help you? Can I, can I help you, cat? Yeah, hi. Sorry. Junior is, like, all up in my business right now. Hi. Hi, how are you? Hi, yeah, hi. Cat, hello. Hi. Okay, where was I? What was I? Hi! Stop! <laughs> my cat keeps biting me. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, my mom doesn't care what I want. I'm just something for her project. She, her, uh, 
for her to project her needs onto. How do you cope? By not talking to her? That's extreme. If someone, if someone brings negativity into your life, you cut them out. Best decision I've ever made. I don't think I can do that. Do you ever feel like no one truly knows you? Uh, you know me, kind of. But I could only know you filtered through my own perspective. That is not really you, just a projection inside my head. I'm glad that it's in your head, Renee. <laughs> me too, get comfortable. It's a place to be in. I'll look around after this is all over. <laughs> ha! Yeah. Are you happy? I'm not sure. I think I'm going in the right direction. Uh, I'll tag along if you don't mind. Yeah. Howard, I'm so tired. Do you mind if I sleep here? Close your eyes. She sleeps. He sleeps. Sweet dreams, Renee. Alright, I guess we will also go to sleep. Which is really just sleeping in a chair. Hi, cat. Oh, are you okay? You're brooding more than Essie. Oh, uh oh, lots on my mind. So how about you share instead? Hmm, it might do you and that overworked brain of yours some good. Case getting bigger, out of my depth, and then there's Renee. Woo wee, that lady, ha, huh? no wonder you're daydreaming. Nothing like that. We work well together. I respect her. Good working together and mutual respect. Not bad ingredients if you're looking to quirk up a little something something is all I'm saying. <laughs> That you, Street Hawk? Yes, and I feel like my insides are trying to fight my outsides. Huh? Really strange. I feel fine. You're not the one walking the streets in the light. Get some sugar in you and rehydrate. Anyway, how's it going? Uh, not so great. I'm near the apartments of the last two leads now. You already spoke to Mary, Melinda, and Shelly? I've tried everything. If get the fuck out counts as speaking, sure. Were you persistent? Were you charming? Did you tell them you're on the rough side? I tried it all. No luck. Damn, well stay positive. Maybe Beverly or Bill will talk? It's worth a shot. I've got a good feeling. Two more doors and they're in the same block of the apartments. Then you can come back and put your feet up. I hope the building has an elevator. <laughs> We should get you some insoles. Maybe you have high arches. Anyway, think positive. You got this. And if I don't got this, then we'll figure something else out. Good luck. Remember to knock gently and let me know how it goes. Thank you, Renee. Talk soon. Now we're in the West End. Hang on. Okay, I'm actually going to take a real quick stretch break. I uh, I just want to stretch my legs real quick, you guys. So just give me a second. So let me just, let me do that. I'll probably, I'm going to run an ad as well. And uh, we can just listen to this music because this is pretty good music. You know? Can I? Hang on. I'm sorry. I just run a run an ad. Let me run an ad. Okay, I'll be right back.
Okay, hello everyone, I'm back, sorry. I just really had to stretch my leg. Okay. Do, 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 do. And let us continue. Yumi Mart. Strong Paw Gym. Yummy, yummy for your tummy, tummy. Good old Yumi. Gabriella? I'm busy, I hear you. Bye. Dr. Allergy? Weston Doctors, Jacks of All Trades, Masters of None. Uh, oh, here's a superintendent. Who are you? Wallace, I'm a photographer. A photographer dressed like that? Dressed like what? This is how photographers dress, because I am one. For crime scenes, maybe? Uh, nice try, I'm going in now. You want to go in? Tell me who you're visiting. Beverly Pham, okay? You don't give that lady any more. She's had enough of it for five lifetimes already. I'll be watching. Scouts on her. Oh, here's a playground? Where are all the kids and old ladies? Weird. Alright, let's go into the building. Car. Oh, there's an elevator. What the fuck was that? Oh. I thought that was somebody walking by and I got really scared. <laughs> Up to the floor five? The fuck was that? Books? Looks like a communal library or a book swap. Maybe I should set up a similar thing in my library. That's actually kind of cool. Bicycle. Whoever owns this rusty bike is very trusting. More likely it's broken. Okay. I just realized he only he only has like half of an ear. I think I hear someone in there. Can I gently knock? Are they gonna open the door? Hello? Hello, hello, hello! Oh, can I help you? Beverly Pham, you're Leslie's mother, right? What's that got to do with Leslie? I'm not going to sign anything. Uh, I'm just a concerned neighbor while this broder. I haven't seen you around here. What are you so concerned about? Uh, the truth is, I'm a PI looking in. Uh, my sister went missing too. Oh, good shepherd. I'm sorry to hear that. Have you lived in West End long? My sister did. Uh, what was her name? Did she know my girl? Uh, Lorna, I'm just trying to find any possible connections. Darling, I understand. I would wanted to do more too, but with the work and Henry, now really isn't a good time. My arms are hard, I get that. Thank you, I've been so alone in this. Um, I feel you. So when did you last see Leslie? Feels like so long ago now, since she fell in with that bad crowd, I barely saw her anyway. Did anything happen before she went missing? Not especially, but Leslie started acting out since meeting Rose. Ah, here is Rose, the word, the name again. Hello, Ivy. Welcome back. Or hello. Well, hello again. <laughs> uh, oh, hi. Henry, get back inside this instant. Hey there, Henry. Is he looking for Leslie? Maybe mine knows. Mine? This instant, Henry. Sorry to keep you, but who's my? I can't talk about this anymore. I'm sorry. Um, Beverly, I hate to stir things up for you. Look, I've already got to get to work. I'll walk with you. Just go. And please don't come back. I'm sorry, but please just leave us alone. Was it something I said? Good luck with everything. I've got a good day. You too, Beverly. Find a way to speak to Henry Pham. Talk to Bill Corby about his daughter, Diana. She made herself clear. I won't bother her again. Wish I could talk to the kid, though. Okay. Now we gotta go up to the floor eight. Oh, Bugsy. Beat it, Granddad. Did you, any of you know any of the missing girls from here? No, we don't fuck with that crowd. <laughs> no, you were saying hello in the game. Oh, Ivy, I'm sorry. I thought <laughs> I thought you were talking to me. <laughs> I'm, sorry. 
I'm dumb. It's fine. No, we don't fuck with that crowd. Sorry, I got I like spaced out. I just love this game. I'm just spacing out really bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I I do have to end stream pretty soon. I just realized what time it was. I'm having way too much fun. Um, when we get to a, when it saves, the next time it saves is when we'll call it. If that sounds good, we're the Dead Mice Collective, bitch. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, do tell. We're a self-governing anno. Any wait, Anacreo? Anarchy no an an anarcho countercultural movement. Okay, do you have an agenda? <laughs> Damn right, it's called the Mousquerade. We disrupt the hood, challenge people's minds. How exactly? Graffiti, protest, love making, whatever it takes. Good for you. Mice get fucked. Good that you're, uh, why the name? We hate mice. Wait, aren't you rats? We are. We hate mice. It's a metaphor. You wouldn't understand. Very cool. Keep at it. Thanks, granddad. You live on this floor? Nah. Right, of course. Laters, then. Hello, bean. Craw. Ka! Ka! You understand. This is good. I'm a crow. Good for you, kid. And then there's just this doorless door here. I guess my lead doesn't live here anymore. Good for you, Bill. Looks like nobody's home. I guess that's why it was like, knock? Yeah, silence. Okay. It just doesn't exist. Damn, dude. And stretches up some painful memories. I don't want to go back to this life. Oh, baby, I'm sorry. Mattress. The stains are mysterious and unappealing. I hope nobody had to sleep on this. Well, damn. Is there a way we can actually go back to the fifth floor? Because I didn't get to explore this area. Oh, there's nothing over here? Okay. And then there's this. Let me try the, this, the stairs. I'm tired. I'll treat myself to the elevator. Understandable. All right, to the first floor we go. Oh no. It's okay, I won't make trouble going down. Yeah, thanks. Pleasure. Beats taking the stairs, right? Yeah, that's what elevators are for. Hope your work is, you know, good today. It won't be. Oh, sorry to hear that. Yeah. Nearly there. And here we are, ladies first. Wait, Beverly went to work. That must mean Henry is alone. Back to the fifth floor we go. Hey, yo, Henry. Little kid, open up. Hey, Henry, it's me again. I'm a detective looking for Leslie. Yeah. You don't look like a detective, really. What should a detective look like? Much cooler and scarier. And I'm not scary. Speaking of, you okay without your mom? I know how to look after myself. I bet a big boy like you could answer some questions, too. Uh, Mom says I shouldn't speak to strangers. That definitely doesn't apply to detectives. We're on everyone's side. Okay, but don't tell Mom. It'll be our little secret. She's scary when she's angry. Henry, you are going to say something earlier about Leslie. Mm, but Mom says Lily made her Leslie made her own bed. I make my bed, too. Uh, proud of you, bud. You mentioned someone named Mai? Leslie's friend. Mai. Do you remember her full name? Mai Louder. Wish I lived with her instead. Do you know where Mai lives? Come on, game. With her weird, stinky brother, Samson. Nearby? In these flats? No, down the road. The house with the red door. Thanks, Henry. You've been super helpful. Uh, if you see Mai... Don't, don't worry. I won't tell her what you said. I better go check on Mr. Flufo now. Look after him and your mom. I'll protect. Bye, Mr. Detective. You can call me Howard. Bye, kid. Alright. 
cool. All right, hopefully, I wonder if that'll be like a good place to call it. Probably not. Okay, I don't want to go to Warrior District. This must be the house with the red door. Oh, it's Poe. Bo, I mean Mo. I know that's you. Slip of the tongue, it's Poe. Wow, you've disguised even the way that you speak. Even I'm an honest guy with an honest voice. I'm not sure what you're implying here. What I don't get is, well, everything. Current affairs can be complex, puzzling to unravel. Let me know if there's something you'd like explaining. Can you explain the current economic downturn? I believe it's largely due to knock-on effects caused by a poor agricultural harvest and lack of centralized stimulus. Huh, maybe this really isn't for you, Mo. Poe, it's the name. Spread news is my game. Yes, yes, everything is fine. <laughs> Nothing that way but sadness and sore feet. Okay. Alright. Like I said, I feel like this is a good place to call it. We've already been streaming for almost three hours. I gotta go to bed. I gotta go to bed. Okay. Um, thank you all for partaking in this with me. I absolutely fucking love this game. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited to finally be playing it. Like, you guys just have no idea. <laughs> but, um, that's all for the stream. Like I said, um, I don't know if I'm going to be streaming on Friday. I've got plans, so probably not. Um, and that's okay. So, uh, let's see. Who can we raid? Uh, we raided Nerith last time, so let's raid Yin and Rel this time. What are they playing? What are they playing? Raymond Legends? Wow. All right. So we're going to raid them. Uh, Yen and Rel, there they are. Okay. Good night everyone. I hope you have you hope you enjoyed stream and hope you have a good rest of your evening or rest of your day, I should say. And um I don't know. I will maybe see you guys Sunday in the very least. I should be able to stream Sunday. If not, I will see you guys again on Monday. Bye-bye, everyone. Good night.